Welcome back. Now that we have our Mac security settings configured properly to allow any software to be installed regardless of where it's from, I can install Skype on this computer. To install Skype, all I did was go to skype.com, click Downloads, Computer, and then click Get Skype for Mac. Upon the completed download, I now have skype.theversionnumber.dmg sitting in my Downloads folder. Think of any DMG as a disk image, or as you would an actual disk being inserted into the super drive of your Mac. They're just in pure software form instead of being hosted on an actual physical disk. So to install the software from the disk image, I'll double click the disk image and drag the name of the software I'd like to the shortcut to my applications folder. When I do so, I'll see the application get copied over to the applications folder and that's it. Skype has now been installed on my Mac. In fact, if I use the shortcut that's part of the disk image to access the applications folder on my physical Mac hard drive, I can see that Skype has been copied over and fully installed. If I press F4 and fire off the launch pad, I see Skype has been added here as well. But if I long click on Skype and wait for the X's to come up, you'll notice that an X is not listed next to Skype. That's again because we did not install Skype from the Apple App Store, but rather a third party website. So how am I going to uninstall Skype if I no longer need it? Well, it's actually quite simple. I'm going to go ahead and hit F4 to leave the launch pad, come back to my applications where I see Skype, and I'm simply going to drag it to the trash can. Doing so removes it from my Mac. There's one last thing I'd like to point out. You'll notice that even though I've installed and uninstalled Skype from my computer, I still see this Skype disk image over here on my desktop. That's because a disk image is just like inserting an invisible CD or DVD copy of the software into an invisible CD or DVD ROM drive. Usually Macs call them super drives. So I need to eject this disk from my Mac. Whether I keep the install or not, I no longer need this disk image mounted to my Mac. So I'm going to right click on Skype and click eject Skype. Of course, nothing will actually eject from my Mac because there is no physical hardware, but it will remove the disk image from my desktop. Knowing how to add or remove software from your Mac is a key step on the road to mastering this operating system. I've shown you the very best ways to make sure you get the applications that suit your needs. If they don't, I've shown you how to uninstall them as well. Now that you know how to work with both the App Store and third-party websites, you have a plethora of new options to go explore. Once again, my name is Alex Spencer, and thank you for watching this tutorial for Tuts Plus.